Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Aaron Gordon here, and we are back here with Aaron Gordon TV. I am here at Woodland Bowl here in Indianapolis, and I'm going to get a, a drilled bowling ball. I've been wanting to do this for quite a bit of time. I might throw a few strikes after, um, but I will be getting it here at Woodland in Victory Lane Pro Shop, and it should be pretty fun. Um, my guy Joel is going to hook me up today. My friend Loren has been telling me to do, this, to do this for quite a bit of time. I definitely just want to do it and, you know, see how it goes. I know I'm not much of a bowler, but these guys will get a couple laughs and I think it should definitely be pretty fun. Yeah, so we are here at the Victory Lane shop. Um, Definitely looking forward to getting the ball. Ooh. Tell y'all, these are some nice looking balls. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get though. See, I just learned today that when you get a drill, two fingers, not just three. So you can get three or two. Big difference, did not know that. I'm definitely gonna get all three. Um, just learned that, I'm not sure how much gonna make a difference, but I think it should. How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good, Aaron. So, looking for a ball out here. I'm looking for it to see what he's going to be my first time bowling, so. Okay, well, I'm going to start you with his pair ball, get you into fingertips. I have this one available. All right, so spare balls are made to go straight, get you started and fit comfortably, and have the ball come off your hand comfortably, and have everything fit to how it's supposed to be. So the measuring process involves me checking your oval angle, your finger pitches, and everything that's involved. So, So everything that I'm going to check right now involves finger flexibility, pitches, how your thumb goes inside the ball, and which direction it goes. Because fit in this game is absolutely everything. Yeah, I've definitely heard that. So right now, relax your hand for me. Right now I'm checking your length. So that way, you know how far we need to go. When it comes to the check is thumb flexibility, meaning Depending on how close your thumb moves forward or how far back depend, tells us how much or how fast we want to get the ball out of the thumb. So allowing your left pitch to be controlled by that ball and how much flexibility you have in front determines on your span how fast it will come out. So, See, I didn't even know all this. It's, 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 it's interesting because like when, you, when people ball, they just like, let me just grab a ball your side. And that's like, that's ball. Now this is just your first ball. Now imagine if you had a ball that you actually used all the time and I can actually go over that. It looked like a maze on the ball. Like, what is happening right now? So. so now I'm checking your finger flexibility. And based off of what I'm seeing, your middle finger has a little less flex than your ring finger. So we treat each finger individually, so when it comes out of it, depending on how fast or slow we want it to come out, and how much it actually bends. Because there could be times where you could put your finger in and it feel like this because the span's not right or the pitch is incorrect. So when you come down, I want your fingers to feel like that. So that way when you get to the bottom of the ball, you can feel it come off the finger. So yeah, a lot of involvement. Yeah, my finger flexibility is not that good. We well, like, probably jammed them a lot playing basketball. Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> yeah, I used to play ball a lot, so my fingers used to jam yeah. a lot. Um, it's funny, my flexibility for this is so much better than like these fingers. Or even going yeah. in that direction. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put your thumb in. Right now we're going to get your oval angle of your thumb. I'm going to turn it. So you have a very flexible thumb, which is why it sits more upright than, let's say, me or anybody else. So take your thumb out for me. You, your thumb sits at 55 degrees, but I'm going to double check that to make sure that that's correct. So push. We're going to turn. Like 
this is where your fingers go, right? We're going to go back and where are you at? Yeah, about 50, 50 degrees yeah, again. 50. So it's a good thing that we double checked it, but at the same time, like that's super important for how you come out of the ball and how yeah. fast you come out of the ball. So now we're going to put your thumb in the ball. But when you come out of it, I want you to feel how much left and right, how much uh, resistance it has. <laughs> Pull your thumb out. Did that feel too big? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that one. We're getting tighter yeah, now. Right here. Right there, you really good? good yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pilot hole so your thumb can end at that. So. Gotcha. So and you're getting that, a yeah. T-zone, bro. It's different. It's like basketball. It's just like everything's yeah. like the same. Put your, your sneakers on, be, yeah, get a basketball. You're good. <laughs> so we're going to make Don't jam them. I want to make sure that we get there. You want to go to that crease. So. Gotcha. Some of us know the numbers by heart, some yeah. of us don't. <laughs> <laughs> so as you drill a spare ball, um, it's not really intended for anything but to go straight. And because it's your first ball, I like that we're doing a spare ball because we can actually uh, have the ball fit you first before we decide how we want yeah. performance to go. So what I would do right now is check your total span and Cut your hand in half where the palm is, right? Yep. Um, would you like a green thumb or a blue thumb? I'll do green. Okay. So, and you're marking that marks right there. That's where, right here is where your thumb is going to go. Gotcha. Right? And I'm going to make your fingers go up here because we want the center of gravity to sit in a spare ball right now. Mm -hmm. We don't want it to go anywhere else. So now, I'm going to create your pilot hole and put in the, the uh, slug so that way you get out of it cleaner rather than just putting your thumb in just a regular ball gotcha. because it makes it so much more convenient yeah. to get out of the and ball. And it's going to feel like the right sort of like... It's going to feel like a glove when yeah. I'm done with it. <laughs> I promise. So now I set the pitches in your machine. Oh. Can you come in? You come all the way in. There you go. How's that feel? Nice. <laughs> it definitely feels that this because I normally I was I was telling Joel earlier that like I normally roll with like a well. Yeah, but as you learn to understand yeah, where weight yeah. distributes in the hands, you realize yeah. it's, it's going to be lighter than yeah. you think it yeah. is. Yeah. 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 How's that feel? Like? Come, man. It feels great. I mean, this, it definitely does feel like a glove. Like, yeah. It feels like it's custom made for me. Now I just got to get the skill to be able We're going to teach you how to do that, yeah. too, Let's bro. We're going to get you on the lane and see yeah. if we can do We're that. We're definitely going to have some other episodes to be doing it, but this was really good, man. Thank you. Man. Oh, thank you for coming up, man. It's good to meet you. I'm seeing you again, too. Right now. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Right here. Like this? From from here? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That wasn't my head. Hey. That's say no, I need some work. I need some work. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Uh, that's not too bad. That, that came. Take your eyes and pull them to the left a little bit. Move to the left. 
that spot and yeah, go at it again. Got you. You said move my eyes. Move your eyes, don't move your body. Got you. Because people have a tendency to kind of get away from the stuff that they do so they don't clear up their angles. But now as everything gets tighter, your ball will want to hit the pocket. Got you. So look a little left, but keep your feet in the same spot. Look a little left to where my finger was. And keep your eyes in the same spot. Okay, but you didn't follow through. You basketball player, y'all come through, y'all come through all the way. It's you know? weird, like a lot of the, my basketball techniques, I normally don't use my ball when I probably should okay. because like I never really follow through. Okay. I just kind of boom. It's but, a, it's a thing yeah. when, you, when you throw a jump rope, you sit there and you post it. When you throw a ball, you throw it and then yeah. post it. Now watch the difference when you do that. But you got to keep your eyes down. Gotcha. <laughs> eyes down, bro. There you go, stay there. Not all right, bad, not too bad. Not, bad bro. not too I bad. Like that one. We, we get you all that hooks a little bit. Yeah. We'll find out, bro. Yeah, right. see, I'm, see, I'm normally at like 110, 150, oh, like 15. Yeah. We get you I'm, you there, know. Bro. Yeah, but it's I, not bad, man. I'm happy I'm above the 100s, but I think I should be at least in the 150, 140. Yeah. 150, 140. Yeah. That's where I think I want to be. All right. now, if you had a ball that hooked, yeah, that would have went through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it feels like it's coming off my hand. I feel, feel more like comfortable, comfortable. Yeah, I like that. yeah. That's, it feels more feeling pretty That's good. More so well, when you shoot left-handed pairs, move more right. When you shoot right-handed pairs, you move more left. Gotcha. Oh! I can't believe it hooked that much, bro. That's tough. That hooked a lot. That hooked a lot. Oh, I got one Not more bad, in me. Yeah, you got one more. Yeah. You actually gonna See, give me more than seven? I'm gonna time, give you bro? more than seven. Okay, let's go. I want, I want eight. Right now. Eight. I got you. Eight to go. Eight to go. Follow through all the way, bro. Put your left in front of your right. There you go. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna get eight right here. You think you can get the spare? I think you I can. Spare, bro. Let's go. Bro. I got. I got you. I gotta move left you a little bit. A little move bit left, left as it starts to move. Because we're gonna use a little bit more of the. Not bad, bad, not bad. bad. Thank you, Good thank you. Much appreciated. Today, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I, I need to do this more often. Bro, come in, bro. Got we'll you. Teach you some Definitely stuff. will, for sure, you, for man. sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. That was absolutely awesome to be here again, man. You know, of course, the ball being made and drilled. I'm getting some lessons by a pro, so definitely pretty fun. We're going to see if we can become a professional bowler. You know, I know, we, you know, that's that's far far fetched, but I mean, obviously, it's going to take a lot of work. But overall, um, if you guys tuned in. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys leave a comment. And if you got any bowling tips yourself, make sure you, you, know, you guys help me out. Make sure you guys also um, go ahead and check out Woodland Ball if you're in the Indianapolis area. Um, I think it'd be really fun. If, you know, get yourself involved. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We are out.